All right, guys, today we're taking a look at the Dynamic Perception Stage 1 Motorized Slider Bundle. Now, it comes with uh, these two ends here. There are actually four um, slider bars that assemble into this long slider. So because they break down, uh, this entire kit can actually fit into travel-sized uh, luggage. Now, you can continue to expand on this system by buying more of these rails and just going longer and longer. In between the rails, you have these uh, stand supports here, so you can keep adding uh, support along the rails as long as you want to go. And again, all of this will break down into travel size luggage. All right, here's the uh, MX2 controller. This allows you to program the slider to move uh, in different directions, how fast, how slow you want it to go. Um, it also supports uh, firing your camera off as an intervalometer if you needed to. So this whole slider bundle is very popular for time-lapse photographers. Um, so check out their website. You'll see a lot of videos being done on this uh, setup here. Very professional stuff. Um, but me personally, I don't really use a lot of time lapse. Um, and so I didn't really get to use this slider as much as I wanted to. But recently they've released an AT2 motion controller. Now this is a real time joystick controller that operates this slider. Uh, previously, in order to move the slider left and right, I had to program it in with buttons let it move and if I wanted it to stop I'd have to press more buttons and uh, if I want to go a different direction I'd have to press more buttons. So it was a little time consuming and something I didn't really want to deal with too much for real time video use. Um, so the AT2 is perfect for guys who want to use a motorized slider and control it uh, in real time with the joystick. So uh, let's jump into the joystick and I'll show you some of the features with this. Okay so what I'm showing you today is the AT2 motion controller. Now this is perfect for someone like me who doesn't do a lot of time lapse and I just want to operate this motorized slider manually. So there's a couple of ways we can operate this. First to power it, I have a basic 12 volt CCTV battery and I have it Velcro to the back of the controller here. That power feeds in here and then that, uh, that will power up the motor. The motor just plugs in directly to the controller. Uh, this can control more than one motor. So first I can manually control it from the joystick here. I can move it to the right, I can move it to the left. I can also control the speed by moving the joystick slowly and then uh, moving it further out is gonna make the motor go faster. The second way to operate it is through cruise mode. If you enable cruise mode, these dials right here will change the speed of the motor and move it either to the right or to the left. Now if you wanna switch the way the joystick is operating, they have controls over here that flips the direction so right becomes left and left becomes right. All right, so not only is the Stage 1 a great slider because it breaks down into just 20 inches and fits into uh, airplane-sized travel luggage, but it can be used either motorized or manually. So here, if I wanted to go to manual mode, I would just loosen up this clip, remove the belt, Now I can operate this slider completely manually. So if you're worried about any type of motor noise uh, during a set, you can operate the slider manually. It's very smooth and it's extremely silent. So whether you want to use a slider in a motorized fashion or manually, this is still a really great solution. Okay, another great thing about the Stage 1 motorized slider is that it can be used upside down so you can get some very, very low to the ground shots. Depending on your tripod setup, you can get even lower than this. Another great thing about this Stage 1 motorized slider here is the way the belt wraps through the motor, it actually can bring a camera up vertically. All 
All right, so many times with sliders, people want the length, but they also want to travel with something small. So the great thing about the Stage 1 is that it breaks down into pieces, and uh, it's a seamless integration between their rails here. So what we're going to do is we're going to break everything down, including the two tripods that we have, into the standard carry-on size luggage. So that means you can fly with all of this gear, and uh, when you get to your destination, you're ready to shoot. And even if you're not flying, uh, it's still easy to find a small case for you to bring to your set. All right guys, so Dynamic Perception is actually giving away a Stage 1 motorized slider bundle. Uh, something that you see here, except they're throwing in a lot of extra goodies. Um, they're giving you two 20 inch carbon fiber rails. I don't have that set up over here. An AT2 controller for you guys for real time video operation. Um, they're also throwing in the quick change motor system and two swappable DC motors, which have uh, different speeds. So a lot of uh, good stuff in that bundle. And to find out how to get in on that, Check it out at CheesyCam.com.